Howdy y'all, Fast Force 29. This is gonna be a short, quick little video. We're gonna, I got the original air cleaner for the 77 Ford truck that I bought a while back and I'm gonna clean it up and we're gonna put it back on. So this is the air cleaner that was on the truck. We're gonna go from this back to the original style and go from this dirty, dull looking original air cleaner here to this nice, new, clean looking air cleaner. All right, so to get, what I'm gonna do to finish cleaning this air cleaner up is pull this snorkel off. I already pulled one, one rivet out. I'm gonna show you how I got it out. If you notice there is some grind marks here but it's fine it's on the inside you won't see it and uh i would rather have it on the inside where you won't see it than on the outside on the metal you can sand the metal and smooth it out but this is just easier in my opinion so right here we have these tabs what you need to do is bend them out and get a pair of inner nose pliers and bend them back and forth until they break, just like that. Do that for each tab. You may be able to work it on this side here with a screwdriver in between the rivet and the snorkel and pop it loose. But I had to get me a grinder like this and go inside there and grind it down before it would finally pop out. So we can try to pop this out now since we break those tabs off, but more than likely we're gonna have to uh, grind it away a little bit. And see, it's still holding on just too tight. It's not gonna let go yet. Come in here and just grind away as little as possible with that until it breaks free. You don't know if you're hitting metal or not because obviously there'll be sparks. Aluminum don't throw sparks. So I'm gonna stop. We're getting a little bit thin right here. I don't want it to come through. We got this metal that'll cover up any hole if we happen to go too far but i still don't want to weaken it any more than it already is these are already bad for cracking these 77s so don't want to crack it any more than uh than we need to i'm not going to try to pop it loose it may come now yeah it'll, there we go and bam we're off and now we have two separate units just like that Okay, so now we got them separated. Uh, quick, talk about it real quick. Why would you want to do this? Well, I did it to make it easier to clean this for one. These are supposed to be a bare aluminum, like the lid. It's supposed to be like that. Now, this is supposed to be that way. And uh, by separating it, it just makes it easier to clean, get in here, clean all that up. And then not to mention, these are supposed to be painted Ford blue. So this will make it easier to clean this up. I won't have to worry about trying to tape the air cleaner off when I go to paint this. I can just paint this and then put it back on. Now I probably will end up riveting it back on because that's the way it's supposed to be. The old steel stamped steel ones were screwed together, but that's because they had sheet metal screws that went into the metal. Well, these are aluminum. Obviously it would just pull it straight off. So you could put a bolt and a nut in here, which would also be ideal because then you can take it off whenever you want. See here, this is what I was talking about. These 77s are real bad for cracking because the aluminum over time, the heat from getting hot from the engine, the expansion from the heat, then contraction from the cold, and you do that for 40 years and they always crack. And see, they, they just, they're bad for it. And there's really no fix for it unless you have a TIG welder, you have some way to weld aluminum. That's the drawback to these. But this one really isn't that bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as I say that, I mean, there's cracks all the way around it, but I've seen some far worse. I mean, I've seen some where there's literally cracks, you know, like within an inch of each other, like like inches, fractions of inches all the way around. So, I mean, considering all things, you know, all things considered, this really ain't that bad. Uh, you got a crack here. Sorry for the shaking this camera. I'm trying to hold this while shooting this. But you see, you got some camera, or, excuse me, cameras, Jesus. You got some cracks there, which isn't a big deal. It's at the back. You're not going to see it. You know, it sits on the truck like this. 
So, you know, not a big deal. I just want to get this cleaned up. You know, I want to show y'all how to get those rivets out and how to pull this apart in case you want to do yours. It's the same way for 77, 78, 79, uh, maybe even 80. I, I, I'm not real sure to be honest with you, but I know 77 to 79, it's the same. They're all the same. So uh, that's how you do it. Now I'm gonna finish getting this cleaned up and then get this sanded down so we can throw a coat of paint on that and then we can put it back together. Okay, so here we go. We got this taped up now. I know I didn't show it, but I ended up, I painted this black already and taped it up. So we're good to go on that now. Now we can paint the rest of this blue. I didn't worry too much about cleaning the inside because frankly, it's going to get dirty again anyway. And you're not going to see it. This is bolted to the air cleaner. The other side is going to have a hose attached to it. You're never going to see the inside of it. Anyway, we got this cleaned up. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to throw some paint on it, some Ford motor blue, and then we'll come back after that. So this is the paint I'm going to be using. <clears throat> it's a uh, Ford dark blue. Got from O'Reilly's Auto Parts dupli Duplicolor engine enamel. All right, and that's the finished product. Look at that thing. That thing is absolutely beautiful. It turned out great. Now, this could be a little bit shinier. I may go back and and polish it up a little bit more, you know, to make it a little bit nicer, but that is definitely a hundred times better than what we started with. The snorkel turned out good. Uh, I don't know what it is about the paint I use, but you can see there's like some dull spots in it. I have painted this thing five times. It's something wrong with the mixture of the paint, I believe, because I know a lot of times you don't shake it up good, but I shook it for like five minutes straight, and I've painted this thing five different times, and it still keeps doing it. So I may get another can in the future and touch it up either way is good enough. Uh, the only bad thing is now this looks so good, it puts the rest of the motor to shame. So now i got to come in here. Eventually, my goal is to strip the motor down and repaint the entire motor. I'm probably going to leave the engine bay as is, like with this, because it goes with the rest of the farm truck look, rustic farm truck. But I want the motor to be nice and pretty, so I'm gonna clean it, degrease it, and then paint that. So uh, yeah, I even got the fresh art box in. Uh, this is not the original box. The original one was uh, broke at the bottom. The pla they're just plastic. It was cracked. So this is one I had laying around in my spare parts bin. This is the original, well, original, as far as I know, to the truck snorkel tube. And this is the original air cleaner to this truck. Uh, I actually ended up getting this for my 76 cause the guy I bought the truck from were friends and he actually gave that to me a long time ago before I ever even bought the truck. And I was gonna put it on the 76 because I like the 76s, but I've always liked the 77s. They just have a very nice, unique look to them. But anyway, now that I got the actual truck it goes to, I figured I'd put it on here. And I, I gotta say, I said I can't be happier with it. I mean, that thing turned out great. I even got the hose, even though it's not hooked to anything. I got the hose hooked up. Uh, this is an old, uh, this is actually a genuine Ford one that I had laying around in my parts bin to hook in there. So it is genuine for the truck, which works out well. So yeah, and I think it looks great. I gotta get me a plug to put in that hole right there. And there's a couple around the other side I gotta get a plug for. But other than that, it looks great. And actually, this wing nut here is off of my 68 Fairlane. The wing nut that was, or not wing nut, but the hold down that was on here was one of those custom with the knurled edges, chrome that he had painted blue to match the air cleaner. And I ended up actually going in and painting it black. I'm going to put it on the Fairlane. So it actually worked out perfect. I used the original wing nut off the Fairlane on here because this is more of an original application. And you can see right here, I put screws back in there instead of rivets. And the reason for that is so I can pull this snorkel off if I ever want to repaint it or whatever in the future. Plus I can tighten it up as tight as I want. Now it's nice and snug instead of being loose like it was with the rivets. And I put me a nylon lock nut on there to lock it in place so it won't come loose. And I use those rounded head of screws so it looks a little bit more kind of like a rivet. So kind of blends in better, so.
And you can see here, here's that piece. I painted it black because he had it blue. Uh, I was going to try to clean the paint off of it and make it chrome, but it just weren't no cleaning it. So I painted it black, and we can go stick it on the fair lane now. Bam, look at there. And that's cool. Now it matches the rest of the motor. The motor's black. The wing nut or hold down is black. Black kind of fits the rest of the engine bay. So that's good, but well, yeah, I'll, I'll probably end up getting a chrome one to match the air cleaner in the future. So anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to show this a quick little video. Nothing. Yeah, you know, I didn't really put a lot of detail into it because, you know, it's, it's not really something special, really. But I've always liked these 77 air cleaners. I thought they looked cool. You know, I like all the air cleaners that Ford used from the 60s and 70s. They all look cool. But 77 was the first year they went to this aluminum style. I'm trying to find my finger. There we go. Pointing right in the right direction. But that's the, this is the first year they went to the aluminum style like this. And uh, I just really like the way they look. Uh, in 78 or 9, they changed the lid. Same base, but different lid. I didn't like that as much. I like the 77 lid with the uh, the old style looking design, you know, up top. The 78 and 9s were smoother. I just didn't like them. But anyway, I just really like the 77s. I think they look cool. So especially when they're all cleaned up, they just look really nice. They have uh, almost like a custom look, even though they're factory. With that bare aluminum, they're not chrome, but they just especially when they were new, they were so shiny, they almost looked chrome. And it was just a really cool feature, you know. So, but that's it. I just wanted to give this short little video. If y'all like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate that as well. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. So take care.